We're still focusing on developments in the Niger energy market and the National Association of Petroleum Explorationists is advocating a streamline of regulatory functions between the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, as well as the Nigerian Petroleum Exchange. Now, in this interview with Channel's business news producer, Tempo Ashadu, president of the association, Nosa omorio Dion, explains the modification that operators want to see in petroleum contracting. The, the issue today, basically, what the industry talks about is they, they like to see the harmonization of both bodies. So it's not much of a dissatisfaction, but it's like um, having, too, too, having too, too many players, too many regulators to deal with at the same time for the same thing. Reminds me of the days of when you used to have, was it DeFree and um, FEPA and all those similar bodies. So there's a huge overlap between the role of NIPEX and NCDMB. I mean, they're both distinct for our government body. So what the industry cries about is that if there's a desire to reduce contract in cycle time, if there's a desire, a true genuine desire, to actually bring down the cost of the entire process, then we need to harmonize the overlap between NIPEX <coughs> and NCDMB. So there's been a school of thought that advocates that the entire contracting process should be owned by NAPEX, while the monitoring should be owned by NCDMB. So there, were, there are clear roles and guidelines. But today, NCDMB aims its operation on the law. And the law clearly spelled out what the roles of NCDMB should be. And NIPEX, <coughs> a body of um, a division under an NMPC, was set up as an online marketplace hmm, that will help accelerate the entire contractual cycle. So it's, um, I think a lot, both bodies can talk to each other. And um, <coughs> I'm glad, like you saw today, it's the first time both bodies are coming together under um, the auspices of NAPE. And then we intend to follow this up through uh, probably a closed workshop whereby we will make sure we we'll try to, to discuss the concerns of the industry, the concerns of both bodies, hopefully to come up with a win-win situation, not just for the bodies but for the industries, because they are both very important, they all play an important role. There are roles that NCDMB plays today that NIPEX cannot play. There are roles that NIPEX play that NCDMB cannot play. We have to own that. And when you talk about NIPEX as a role, there, there is a significant part of the industry that is emerging today. The independents, the indigenous, many of them have zero interaction with the NIPEX platform. NIPEX was primarily designed for JV partners and PSCs, companies that NMPC has stakes in. So there are equally so many companies out there that have zero interaction with NIPEX today that NCDMB seems to be the only sucker. So how do you want to assess the e-platform of the NIPEX? Has it played, has it met the demands of operators? No, incidentally, I was on the steering committee of NIPEX for quite a number of years, and I can tell you that um, whether it has achieved the desire, that's a different conversation. But in terms of the novelty of the idea of bringing NIPEX together to serve as a platform that harmonizes the entire contractual cycle, standardize the contractual uh, um, structure, it, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. And the, <coughs> the e-platform, like you said, the, some of the challenges we've been having today, like you, which I found out during my days as a, a member of the steering committee, is that uh, some of them goes back to even the operators and users. It's not on represent NIPEX. So the, 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 the NIPEX platform is an interactive forum. As long as the interactability is not maximized by both the user and the buyer, you will have this. So the interactability can be, can be better, the communication can be improved. If that is done, and then response time, because ownership, both parties have some form of ownership. And I was very, very enthused with what I heard from the GM of NIPEX today, that maybe some punitive measures for delays in terms of ownership, uh -huh. when you are assigned ownership 
and you don't respond to that, when you should respond. Maybe if they introduce some punitive measures, maybe that can help to accelerate the entire process. About overlapping issues between NCDMB, NAPIMS, NIPEX, all of the all of these uh, synergies, we're trying to uh, sim create a seamless environment, you know, for operators like you in the industry. But what kind of contract timing do you want to see? Because I understand that within two months, you know, some approvals can be granted. Within six months, some play out as well. No, we have to be realistic, right? <coughs> I mean, the industry has been has been pushing for three to six months. So two months will be a dream as well. Don't forget, the, the, the entire process starts from, um, it starts from the RFP hmm, to the technical evaluation and the commercial evaluation. So this itself can be, um, can be pretty enormous. So I think ideally, anytime between three to six months will be the ideal period. And mind you, it's, uh, there's a threshold there's an entry threshold for this, for this contract. Uh, so if you're PSC companies, I think the entry threshold is $500,000. If you're the JV, it's $250,000. So contracts that are less than this volume do not necessarily go through NIPEX. So finally, what are your thoughts on the expatriate quota in Nigeria? Should we domesticate more or not? <clears throat> My thought is that um, no nation is an island. And um, diversity has been the strength of this industry and um, as we have a lot of experts and expatriates that work in this industry, we equally have a lot of Nigerians that are equally working in the overseas industry. So the industry needs that dynamism whereby a continuous flow of experts going in and out, Nigerians going in and out to, to enrich and ensure the uh, what I call a standard global practice. So there's, I don't know of any industry in the world whereby you say you shut out completely. I agree. I mean, there are certain competence, there are certain expertise, there are certain areas that should be domesticated or domiciled in countries, undoubtedly. And the NCDMB Act has um, sought to do that. It uh, NCDMB Act, for instance, has homogenized what we call the land and swamp sector. They say only Nigerian companies can participate there. In offshore countries, it's open to a, uh, offshore terrain, open to everybody. So a good mix and a good balance of both. President of the Nigerian Association of Petroleum Exploration is Nosa Omoriojo, speaking to Channels Television's business producer there, Tempo Ashadjo. We'll take another break now. When we come back, we're turning our attention to another uh, industry, and that is the insurance industry. The Director General, Nigeria, Nigerian Insurance Association, Olorundari Thomas, joins me after now. Stay with us.